frustration, and then we have patience. What exactly is the relationship between these two words? Their definitions are on opposite ends of the grammatical spectrum. One is based in irritation, the other in acceptance. But are they mutually exclusive? Can one be both frustrated and patient? Or is the very definition of patience avoiding that frustration? And does frustration mean that your patience has given way to dissatisfaction? It's a little murky, but whatever the line is between those two words, it's being carefully walked in the Washington Commander's locker room this week. Coming off three straight losses, the last of which involved 136 yards worth of penalties, Washington is routinely committing errors, mostly self-inflicted, while their margin for such mistakes is shrinking rapidly. It's frustrating, um, especially coming off a game like that last week where it's just so many self-inflicted um, penalties and issues and mishaps. I think we're frustrated too. I think we know what we have in this locker room. Uh, I think we know what we can do. And for us, it's just going out there and doing the right thing on Sundays. Obviously, we know the, the skid, so to speak, that we've been on, and, and we got to find a way to win. And, um, you know, patience only, only lasts so long.